significant. And the third point about the prompting and the agent, and I'll stop here, is that you are allowed to give an example of how you want them to give the answer. So, uh, in other words, if you are trying to talk to a doctor or to a farm uh, a specialist about what kind of fertilizer to apply or whatnot, uh, this specialist is likely to want to see the data in a particular form, just like the IRS wants to see your taxes on the forms they give you. You're not going to give them, uh, you know, your 1099 info in, uh, in, uh, in whatever format uh, you, you prefer. And so these large language models are very good at accepting as part of this, um, as part of this context uh, give me the answer in this format. Here's an example. Take the context, take my health record, take my farming information, uh, and answer these questions in this particular format when you answer. So let me stop there and say that uh, to me, uh, this is the problem of the day. Uh, you know, we, we can talk about uh, privacy, about data sovereignty, about, uh, you know, medical science, uh, healthcare, whatever, till we're, you know, or in the farming context, whatever it is. But when we are now looking at this thing that is willing to process uh, two, three hundred thousand words worth of context, remove the redundancy, summarize it, and give it back to us, this, this private data corpus, give it back to us in the form that we tell it uh, we want, we as the human wants, and it's arguably doing already a better and safer job than the experts that we would have access to. Now we have a context for these agents for these policy-driven request processors in the context of prompting or chatting with the LLM. And that's 